Welcome back to Genuine Core guys. This is the 11th video in the JavaFX library software development series and in this video I'm going to work on this book issue section. I mean when the user enters the book ID using keyboard or barcode we have to display the name of the book and the name of the author. Like that when the user enters the member ID we have to display the member name and contact here. So uh, be, uh, if from the last video I have made a small modification on this button like adding a graphic in this button I have also added an icon for this issue button and these two renew and submission buttons so let's go back to the main.fxml and before doing the coding for the, that I am going to improve the user interface a little bit for that I am going to type, uh, click on this H box and I am going to the layout section and give some padding so let's say uh, 20, 20, 20, and here 20. So I have given 20 padding from all directions. And if you want to give a depth for this element, I mean for this H box, you can do that using the JFX depth manager from our JPhoenix package. For that, I'm going to click on this H box and going and give a name. Let the name be book info. And I have given the variable name book info and I'm going to the library assistant and by clicking on the main fxml I'm going to create a controller so I got the book info h box and I'm going to give a depth for this book info using jfx depth manager I have already made a tutorial on the jfx depth manager about giving depth to components so set depth using the set depth we can set depth for a component. The depth can vary from 0 to 4 or 5 I think and in this case I am going to give the depth to 1. Let us run the program again. So uh, uh, since we have in set the background color for the H box, it gives depth for each of the children in the component I mean in the hbox these are the children so first we have to fix that for that I am going to the hbox again and in the layout section or not in the layout section in the property section we can give the fx background color here and here I am going to I have to give a color for that I am going to give aqua aqua it's not a good color right so I am going to give a color like e7 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 something like white but not white so that's fine now if I run the program again you can see that it is displayed on the higher depth I mean it has a higher depth than the uh, other components so that's how you use the JFX depth manager similarly you can give depth for this one also so I'm going to do that uh, for our this H box I'm going to click on that uh, just like before I have to give some padding so 20 20 20 and 20 so I think uh, 20 is all in the above direction so I'm going to set to to view because there is already a 20 at a depth here and in the below section I don't want that much depth so I'm setting to 5 so that's great I'm going to the code section and here it is member info I'm going to the library assistant main.fxml then setting the depth instead of book info I have to go for member info and here again I'm coming back to the property section and from the style class not style class from the style section I'm going to set the background color to e7 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 you can do that from the uh, style sheet also in order to save some time I'm doing that in the uh, in this way in this way so let's run the code again so as you can see we got it in the uh, higher depth uh, so that's it now when the user enters something I mean enter the book ID here we want to uh, display the name of the book and the uh, order of the book so instead of enter book ID I'm just displaying book ID and I'm going to the code section and the, when the user the press enter this method uh, I mean this own action even handler will be activated and for that I'm going to give a function load book information so that's it load book info and here I have to give a variable name for this book name text 
so book name and here I have to give a variable name so let that be book author I need one more text for giving the status of book when the book ID is ended like uh, if the book is not available in the library uh, and already issued to someone else then I have to give that message to the user so for that I'm going to replicate this text so I'm pressing on the duplicate so I got one more author text and here I'm going to the layout section and increasing the margin and from the code section instead of book order we have to give a name book status so that's fine and one more thing that I have to do is when we click when an action is performed logo book info will be called but in order to accept the data from the book ID section I have to give that a name so book ID input so that's fine now we have declared all the variables and coming back to the main dot fxml I'm going to make the controller so we got the controller and here in the load book info first we have to retrieve the name ID book ID that is entered so that will be book ID input dot get text then we have to prepare a statement I mean a query so that will be select star from book book were ID equals single colon plus ID so that's a complete query then we need of course we need a database handler object for executing the query and here since it is needed later for all the operation I'm going to make the database handler object global and here we have to get an instance of the database handler just like before so it will be database handler dot get in the instance then we will use that database handler instance here to get the result set object after the execution of the query so result set rs equals database handler dot execute query and we will pass the query and now we have to fetch the book name and book order and the availability information so for that I'm going to use the normal uh, accessing method while result set has a next object in it then I am going to surround statement with a try catch so if there is a match then I have to get the book name so b name equal rs dot get string and uh, I have to have a look into the skeleton in order to know the database column name so here our table book then we have to get the title so that's it then we will retrieve that then b order equals rs dot get string then we will access the order column and one more thing is a boolean variable whether the book is already issued so b status equals rs dot get string uh, not get string it is get boolean then we will have to give is available i'm going to copy and paste it here so that's it we got it and in order to check whether uh, if there was no result found then we have to notify the user that there is no such book and that book ID for that there are a lot of method we can make use of this rs.x but in order to maintain the simplicity I'm going to declare a boolean variable flag it is set to true at first I mean is it set to false first then if a match is found then we will set the flag to true so after uh, the while loop if the flag is still false then we will notify the user that there is no such book so we will use the b uh, no it's not it's a book info what was the variable name again it was book name so book name dot set text no such book available so that's the error message and uh, here if it is found then we have to set the book name so book name dot set text about the b name that's fine then we have to repeat this instead of book name we have to go for book order dot set text instead of b name we will go for book order then book status dot set text so now we have to oh, check whether the book is available or not so string status equals b status then if it's available then we will give 
uh, available if it is true we will display available or else we will display not available so that's good and we will display the status here so I think that's the end of loading book information and uh, we have said the error uh, in case no such book are available now let's run the program again so I'm going to the view of books in order to get a book ID so there is a book ID in B100 that is Harry Potter and I'm going to type that so it is showing no such book available so I'm going to again so the problem is we have given a small key a lower case book ID since the database is uh, uh, key sensitive we have to give B100 so you can see that it is Harry Potter from JK Rowling and the book is definitely available so I think it has been a long time since I started this video. So uh, I'm going to stop this video right now here. And uh, in the next video, you'll see how to load the member and rest of the sections. So as always, thank you for watching.